I think I always wanted to play professional hockey. And the other thing I wanted to do was be an artist. Brandon Coburn played hockey at Liberty University while getting a degree in design. After a pro hockey career in Sweden, he would return to Canada, where for a while his two passions were limited to his Xbox. Playing video games, I'll almost spend more time in the creator, you know, creative suite kind of making the, the jerseys than I will play in the game. And uh, I've always just been very fascinated with like team branding, logos, the whole thing. Eventually, God would give Brandon the opportunity to turn his passion into a career. I saw the job posted for Athletic Knit and I'm like, hey, I know these guys. I used to wear their jerseys when I was a kid. And you know, going through school at Liberty, we wore AK jerseys and I knew them pretty well. And I thought, wow, this would be an incredible job. Being able to see something from an initial words on a paper where it's a mock-up request. Hey, the team wants this, this is the idea. And then you take that idea and you put it into a visual. That's a lot of times when we have to, you know, work on our coloring, we have to work on making a crazy pattern where you might have like stripes and stars and 100 million different things going on on a jersey and make that look the same on like a youth small as it does on like a 3XL for a goalie or a 5XL, right? Just to see what a customer picks, that initial idea, and how it eventually goes from basically a page with words on it to a completed jersey. But there are some jerseys that for Brandon mean just a little bit more. The breast cancer jersey that I made for the Manchester Monarchs, you know, everybody uh, has a family member or a friend who has had one form of cancer, whether it be breast cancer or any different form of cancer, right? So it was just like so meaningful that they had this game in the first place and that you were able to essentially kind of brand that game in a way where um, people were just so impacted. They bid on the jerseys afterwards. It's cool to think of something that you created was essentially uh, bid on and bought by somebody. Uh, there's another one for the Special Olympics and that one really touched home for me because I have a brother-in-law who has special needs and I know how those events for uh, people's special needs, how much of an impact it is for them. That they can go out and compete and you know receive medals and, and you know just feel like a normal kid, right? And be celebrated. So when I got this jersey, I knew right away I wanted to put some medals around the neck. I have gold, silver, and bronze on there and it touched home just because of the, the, uh, the impact that Austin has had on my life. God's kind of brought me back to this place of being creative using my art and my passion for hockey and bringing it together. Now I kind of get to do both in a sense. Everything that you can do, you can do in a way that glorifies God. Just the way you work, your work ethic can be inspiring. Like there's something different about this guy. I woke up today and I'm gonna like live my life the best for Christ that I can and how am I gonna do that? And how am I gonna do that with my family, right? Essentially everything that you do should be reflecting that. And I think working here at AK, I always try to keep that in mind just going to a job where I'm just going to get a paycheck, but I'm going to do something that I love. And that still kind of keeps me um, interacting with the game that I love. And I think that's just something that uh, I'm eternally grateful for.